Hello friends and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Mohsen Raj. I'm a DM cardiology student at Ames, New Delhi. And this video is about how to handle a weak subject. So no matter which exam you're preparing for, it could be NEET UG, it could be NEET PG, it could be any other exam. So if you're a student and you're handling a, a difficult subject, an apparently difficult subject, this video is how to solve that problem. And this is not just your problem, it's everyone's problem. See, when I recall my NEET UG days, it was not called as a NEET UG that time, but I remember I was a very weak student of biology. And then my, uh, the, the focus of this video is how you can improve your weak subject and even top in that weak subject and even make that subject as your profession, as your future career. So for example, I hated biology initially. I was very weak in biology initially. Eventually I took up medicine and eventually I'm a cardiologist now. Now I deal with human physiology, human pathology every day. Okay, so how to go about or how to deal with a weak subject? Now I'm going to give you a set of strategies that helped me personally when I was preparing biology in my uh, undergraduate or preparing for MBBS entrance exam. So I'm going to share the same strategies with you. Number first strategy is read that weak subject daily, which means see, if I recall my days of preparation, I my days would be comprised of preparing either biology plus physics or biology plus chemistry because biology was my weak subject. So that would always be a part of my everyday preparation. So read your weak subject daily. Number second is read that weak subject the very first thing in your morning. See, if I start my preparation at 6 a.m. in the morning, the first three hours of my day would be dedicated to biology. If I take rest during the day, say for example, I, I take a rest from 2 o'clock to 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the day, then my when I resume my uh, studies again with a fresh mind, with, with a full of energy again, I would again read my weakest portion first and whenever I'm done with that weak portion then I would solve you know an easier subject for example I am comfortable with solving physics questions I'm comfortable solving questions of organic chemistry for example so I would do that at a time when I'm already tired by reading uh, from reading biology so that was a key practical tool so study that subject every day I used to study biology every day. Study that subject when you are full of focus and energy, which is at the start of your studies, at the start of the day. Now, number third, which uh, the thing that I want you to remember is that you need to choose one single source for that subject. It's not just for that weak subject, it's in general for every subject that you choose one major source of your studies. Say, for biology, of course, the gold standard NCRT textbooks these days, but you select a source which is a standard source, NCRT is in most of the times, and you stick to that source. Second, to practice questions, you need to select a, a question bank which gets its questions from the NCRT or which gets its questions from the previous year question papers. Now the next thing, uh, that's the fourth point which I'm going to share with you, it is that you need to connect to a higher cause, you need to connect to a higher goal. For example, when I was a class 11th or class 12th student, physics was very interesting to me. Physical chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, all of these subjects were very interesting to me. I, I would read these things by default as a choice and I would love reading that stuff, I would love solving those questions. Biology, I was weak, I would hate it, but there was a cause that biology is very important if I want to become a doctor. Biology is very important if I want to crack an MBBS entrance exam. So when you connect a subject to a particular cause, your preparation is kind of streamlined in that direction. So you no longer get, you know, frightened by a subject, you, you rather, you know, you know it's an important step in achieving your goal, so you direct your efforts towards that. So the number five, an important tool is test yourself. So appear in as many tests as you want uh, or as you can 
these days we all have online platforms to appear in various uh, you know uh, tests and um, you know questions uh, subject wise or topic wise there are so many options available so appear in as many tests as you want solve as many questions as you want from that week's subject because appearing in a test is probably the best way of preparing a subject so you can i always say you can read a subject you know over and over again you can revise it 10 times reading it line by line but it is better to to appear for three exams of that subject so 10 times of revision equals just three exams because when you read a question you're not able to answer a question you actively look at the explanation of that question understand the understand the content of their question understand the answer you remember it for a longer time you remember it as part of a framework in your mind so tests are very important appear in the tests class tests or monthly tests or whatever tests you follow in your in your in your coaching schedule so that is uh, that's there number next is uh, the role of coaching yes coaching does play a role especially when you are in class 11 class 12 because that time you're not fully mature to understand the complexity of the topic so good good coaching good coaching material is very important for your weak subjects in 11 12 subsequently it may not be important for your post graduation at all and number last thing that i want you to remember is the fact that you don't have to settle you know see everyone has the problem you may have a problem with a particular subject you may have a problem with a particular area of a particular subject that is true for everyone every single student even in top even a topper will have some weak area even an all india rank one has a weak subject even an all india rank one has a weak area so your goal is to realize that this is a problem that's with every student and your goal is to try to solve that problem give extra time to the subject get extra help from your from your teachers from your coaching for that subject practice more questions from that subject and yes one day you will excel in that subject for me it was biology and ultimately i scored the highest in biology i mean i, I scored even more than physics and chemistry and ultimately I, I chose medicine as my career and then it's all about physiology and pathology so yes you can improve your weak subject you can win your weak subject you can top your weak subject and you can choose it as a profession so i hope you like the contents of this video do like subscribe to the channel thank you